Hi, Steve here at our Solutions Academy in Warwick. And for this week's Training Tuesday, I'm gonna be showing you how to test the elements in our range of cylinders. So today, the test we're gonna carry out on the element will be a resistance test using a multimeter. We're gonna use a mega tester to check the insulation resistance. We're gonna use a multimeter again to check for voltage. And finally, we'll use an amp clamp to check for ampage. Before we start any work, we're first gonna make sure we've safely isolated any of the electrics. So as always, the first test we're gonna do are our dead checks. We're gonna check the resistance of the element with our multimeter set to ohms, and we're gonna check the insulation resistance of our element using a mega tester. We always carry out these checks first as it's much safer than doing live checks. Right, let's get to work. So the first thing we're gonna do is check the resistance of our element using our multimeter. Firstly, I'm gonna put my multimeter onto ohms. I need to now unplug the red live and the black neutral, and then we simply test across the element. And we've got a reading of 21 ohms there. Next, we're gonna test the element using a mega tester. This is an insulation resistance test. What we're gonna do is essentially pressure test the element to make sure there's no leakage of voltage to earth. We're gonna put 500 volts through the element and check what resistance to earth we achieve. First, we need to disconnect our earth wire. We then connect one crocodile clip to our earth connection. and the other crocodile clip to our live. We now set our mega tester to 500 volts and press and hold the test button. That's given me a reading of OL or open line. More resistance than this can read. Anything above 500,000 ohms or half a mega ohm is an acceptable reading. So now I've turned the power onto the unit. We again need to work with more caution. We're gonna switch our multimeter to volts and we're gonna check we've got the correct voltage at our element. We'll be testing across the live, the red wire here and the black neutral wire there. On the live, one on the neutral, we've got 243 volts, a perfectly good reading. One final test we can do is with an amp clamp. An amp clamp will tell us how many amps the element is drawing, which is directly related to having correct voltage and correct resistance. We'll turn it on, and we just clip it over the live, just the live, not the live and neutral. And we're looking for roughly 13 amps. It's a 13 amp element, a 13 amp fuse in the, in the plug. As we can see, we have a reading of 13.14 amps, which is about spot on for a three kilowatt element you're looking at roughly 4.2 amps per kilowatt. It's a three kilowatt element, that's perfect. So now we should understand how to test the element in our range of cylinders. I hope you've enjoyed this training Tuesday. For more information, contact your area sales manager or visit baxi.co.uk forward slash training.